Hello everyone, my name is Eclipse and this is How Do They Feel About You? Pick a card reading. You can either pick one of these three crystals or you can skip ahead and pick one of the paintings. If you picked pile number one, this is your reading. <sighs> okay, how? Do they feel about you? How does pile one's person feel about you? I'm instantly seeing colors like a light pink and like a greenish blue. I don't know why. How does pile one's person feel about them? Six of wands. Victory. Another six. So six, six could be a angel number for you. The magician. Let's actually just take these three cards for now. Something very magical about you. You might be into numerology. You might be into astrology. You could be into like creating sigils to manifest stuff. And they instantly, like they know this about you. They find this very intriguing about you. There's a lot of things about success and victory and power here. Literally, victory, success, power. Um, they see you as very ambitious. They see you as a as a as a big challenge to them. It's interesting. I feel like some of you are dealing with a player here, like a conqueror type person, and they do see you as a big challenge for them. But you're very mysterious. They, they can't figure you out. They want to win you over. But how do they feel? Is the question. Okay, King of Cups. Because they can't win you over, they are starting to develop feelings for you. Because you are so hard to obtain, they are falling in love. <laughs> yeah, this is making them want to actually build something with you, something tangible, taking it to the next level. They don't want to just have a one night stand anymore. They, or, you know, I'm getting very much player vibes here, but a player that is um, slowly falling in love with you. So be careful, stay, play hard to get is advice I'm seeing here. The moon, yeah. Be careful of their words, especially now. Um, even though they are slowly catching feelings for you, I would still be aware of them. I wouldn't go head first for them. Um, their words are deceptive sometimes. They, they know how to charm a lady. They know how to charm a man. Um... They're very flirty. But you hold the key to their heart, which they don't know even exists. They don't know they can, they have the capacity to feel these overflowing emotions. So you stay calm. You stay, don't, don't run towards them is what I'm hearing. Don't, don't let them, in too fast is what I'm saying. <laughs> like if you're going on dates, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to bed with them too quickly. If you know what I'm saying. If you have, then you need to have a level of detachment from them. You need to show that you don't really care that much. You know, you, you need to show that you're not obsessed with them, that they haven't got you yet. 
feeling one more card in this and then we'll move on to an, another pile let me just do that <laughs> um it is because you're so innocent that they're also intrigued by you it's like your energy is calling them like i'm seeing this echoing hills like it's literally like they hear this sound in the distance and they need to like move they like they they their spirit body can hear these frequencies that is calling them to you they're very intrigued by you they're very intrigued by your cuteness you're very cute for them they usually don't go for all these innocent types yeah okay let's go into some oracles so now i'm going to use an astrology deck I don't usually read this as this is your sign because this is a collective reading I usually read this as like energies so if this is your sign that's cool if it's not whatever you know this is more about the energy so what is the energy what is the feelings this person has for power on what is the energy what are the feelings this person has for power on Aquarius yeah, you're very much a challenge to them. I, I'm still getting player vibes. I'm, I'm sorry, but I am. Um, like I'm seeing them holding, like water usually represents feelings, but this Aquarius isn't a water sign. She's holding the water in her hands. So she, they like to play with people's emotions. So... If, if you don't want something like this, then I would, you know, just leave this person. But if you do want to still pursue them, be aware of that. Be aware that they are a bit of a Casanova. They are a player. They are a, a bit of a rake. A conqueror. But they're not aware of the fact that they are starting to develop feelings. Once again, Mark. Like, she's not looking at the water at the moment. So she's unaware of the feelings that she has at the moment. So the feelings are there, they're just not consciously aware of it. There's a lot of, like, schmixy, schicksy energy here. Like, they have a lot of lust for you. Um, and the and it's not just, oh, hit it and quit it and, you know, a little quick, quick little thing, quick pleasure when you say it like that. It's more of a, their entire body, like their entire soul feels this pleasure when they're around you. It's a, it's a soul kind of connection that they have. I would be very weary of this person because they're not consciously aware of their own feelings but it does seem like they have feelings. So the, your answer, the, the, that's the answer to your question. I don't know how this is going to play out. I would play hard to get. I wouldn't let them. Yeah, just play hard to get. And I think it's going to work out for you. But don't let them play you, please. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Hello, pile two. This is your how do they feel about you reading. So, let's get some cards. How does this person feel about pile two? How does this person feel about pile two? Okay, we got, oh, okay. We got a lot of stuff here. There's some intense emotions here. The number six is quite relevant here. You have six cards. And six is the number of the lovers in tarot. And you even have the lovers here. So that's quite a coincidence. 
they definitely have a lot of feelings for you, but it's intense emotions. They don't know how to deal with it. They're trying to like make it logic, like make it a like like trying to reason it out for themselves. They're not used to this intense emotions, this intense love. It's like it's like their heart was very much closed off. And now you have opened the floodgates and they're freaking out. They're kind of scared of it. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Um, they feel like they are, in a way, losing a sense of self because they're not used to this. But you're everything they ever dreamed of. Like, you are exactly what they're manifesting. You're exactly what they, they wish of when they think of their perfect person. But they're also scared of you. They are so scared of love. Like, look at this card. This is you, and this is them. They are scared that you are going to break their hearts. That you are going to, you know... I'm not going to say the words on YouTube. And this was like sudden. This was like love at first sight type of thing. Like, they just instantly knew when they saw you. Instantly. And they're freaking out. This is also like forcing them to go through a spiritual awakening. I want to get two or three more cards. Yeah. They might start acting out like they might. Because they're so like scared they might start becoming agitated they might start lashing out because they don't know how to deal with this energy just be forgiving but don't let them all go over you if you um were drawn to pile one you could also go to pile one because there's some of some energies are the same let me just Yeah, some of the energies are quite similar. But they're like, they're scared of nothing. Because you, you're not someone who's gonna do anything bad to them. You've got a quite light energy about you. You're coming across as a princess. You're very sweet and you want princess treatment to be honest you're you're not someone to be you're, you're not demanding but you do get whatever you want i think they're like they see the princess of wands here and she's a lot she has a lot of i'm not showing you because there's a little bit of explicit content here but um she has a lot of fire around her and they're scared of that fire they're scared of the light because you hold a lot of passion you hold a lot of energy within you a lot of vitality and that scares them but it, it's nothing to be afraid of it's nothing to be afraid of even like here i think this is supposed to represent grass but it looks like fire you are you your fire just represents a vitality i a, a, a passion for living that they might not even have they might just live to work. You don't live to work. You live to live. You you don't exist. You live. You, you see life as an adventure. And that scares them. You're also quite a transformative person. Like, you are not afraid to change yourself or to adapt. Which also scares them. They, they are really scared of you. I wouldn't be surprised if... Their Lilith or your Lilith has like some sort of weird conjunction in, in like your natal charts, like your, your what is it called? Your sinistry charts. Like Lilith plays a big part. I wouldn't be surprised. Because they're highly attracted to you, but they're scared of you. <laughs> but they definitely have a lot of feelings for you. Okay, so let's get some oracles. So this, I'm using my zodiac deck i don't use this to um get zodiac signs so if this is not if if you if we get cancer and you're not a cancer that's all right i'm going for the energies 
of the zodiac signs. So, how does this person feel about pile two? What is the energy towards pile two? What is the energy? What is the feelings? Okay. Oh yeah, they love you. They really do. You just need to come through with compassion and peace. A tranquil mind, I'm hearing. You need to just let them have their little tantrum. And then all will be right. One more. Oh my gosh. Literally. Okay. They are super in love with you. It's like Cupid actually... Yeah. Um, so Venus is um, the goddess of love. She's associated with Aphrodite. They are so in love with you. They think you're so beautiful. They think you're so majestic. You're very attractive. Like, they have a lot of... They just really love you. I don't know what else to say. Like, this is... If I were one to have a pile, it would be this pile. Because they, they genuinely have true and pure feelings towards you. It's not just lust. It's not just a crush. They, they genuinely love you. They genuinely want to build a relationship with you. Yeah. If you enjoyed this reading, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. If you picked this lovely little crystal, this is your reading. Hello, pile three. Let's see. How does the person pile three is thinking about, feel about them? How does pile three's person think about them? Six of cups. Um, that's too much. That's too much. Okay. Ooh. This could be a past person for some of you. A past person who you might have broken up with, or they broke up with you, but they they have a lot of hurt in their heart. Like they really did not they they don't they wish they could go back in time and like fix whatever happened between you two. They want to start new and fresh with you. If this isn't a past person and it's a new person, you remind them of someone that they had, an ex that they had in the past who hurt them. And so they're a little bit afraid. They're a little bit afraid of opening up to you, but they do want to start anew with you. They do want to start fresh. They don't want to let their past ruin this connection that you have. So take what resonates there. Let's see what else. Okay, this one wants to be here. Oh, I'm also seeing like, they're also unsure. If, should we start again? Is this a good idea? Like, which choice do I choose? They're hesitant. Ah, it's too many. This person really wants to say a lot. <laughs> they have a lot on their mind that they want to talk to you about. Um, and brains are like shuffled. Like they have so much on their mind. None of it actually makes sense to them. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They really want to talk to you. They re uh, I'm like, there's too many cards do this 2 2 could be an important number so 2 2 2 2 2 I'm also hearing 5 is important I don't know why I'm getting 5 oh also 1 2 1 2 look at that 1 2 1 2 um So they do want to come in with communication here, but they're deciding how they're going to do that. They're deciding which course is the best. 
Like here they're a little bit still hesitant, but then they come to a decision like, no, we have to do this. So now they're planning how they're going to come towards you. They have so many things they need to tell you. Like I feel like they're just going to blah, 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 chat, 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 chat about like, oh, this happened and that happened. And I feel like this and it's more, like they have like word vomit. <laughs> These are like, like I'm seeing these little babies as like their words. Like, they just have a bunch of babies. Like, it's just everywhere. If this is a past person, they have really transformed. Like, they're not the person that they were when you last saw them. If this is a new person, then they have transformed since their last relationship. They, they don't see relationships in the same way anymore. They don't want to be treated in the same way anymore. They don't, they're not going to allow people to treat them that way anymore. They have set boundaries now. Like they've seen how a bad relationship can affect them. So they're not going to settle for anything anymore. I feel like that's a lot of our problems is we think we want love so much that we settle for something that isn't love. We settle for something that is mediocre just to say that we have love. Just to say that we have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife. We settle for something that isn't for us. And I think they have realized now that that isn't worth it. Th those conflicts, those traumas, those... It's just not worth it. This is a very mature person. They could be a little bit older than you or they're just very mature. I like this pile. But, you know, obviously... They're a little bit afraid of giving you their heart, but I feel like they will give you their heart. Let's see what the oracles have to say. So this is my Zodiac oracle deck. Um, I don't read this as in this is your Zodiac sign, because this is a collective reading. You can be any Zodiac sign and this can still resonate for you. I'm going off the energies. So how... how do Pals 3's person, feel about them, what is their energy towards them? Yellow is coming through. Yellow is an important colour. I don't know why. I just had like a pinch on my arm here. That's so weird. Like on my right arm. Oh my gosh, it's pinching again. That might be something for you. You might get pinches. Is it like a clarification? I don't know. This is going to resonate for a few of you. It's still pinching. Anyway, it's like a pain, like a sting. How does piles to... Oh, it's like they have all this love for you, but they're hesitating to like give it to you. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of getting hurt. So they're like, they're, their subconscious is like stopping them. Like, no, like pull back, pull back. How does pile three's person feel about them? What is the energy towards them? They see you as a very dreamy person. They dream about you a lot. You are like always in their subconscious mind. Like they'll somehow always just see you in every situation. They're very much in love with you. They would love to come f through with, for you in a romantic way. Like buy you flowers and take you on nice dates with a candlelight dinner and watch the stars. They were very much just in their feelings for you. This is very sweet. It's like an innocent type of love. They might even write like poetry about you or create art if they're creative. They write about you a lot. If they have a journal, you're always in their journal. You are also their inspiration, their muse. For like any type of work, like even if they're just at like a corporate job. Your energy, your presence, your image. It inspires them. 
it inspires them to do the, the weirdest things, things that are not related to you. It's, it inspires them to work harder. It, inspire, it gives them ideas. If you enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.